difference. It comes down to guys making plays or not making plays. It's really, yeah. you know, look, no matter what the sport is, it's really, it's really not that complicated. Mm -hmm. What team made the most plays? Yeah. And when did they make said plays? Because all plays aren't created equal. And that's what people get upset at me about. They're like, well, the guy played well. I said, well, let me ask you a question. What role did that interception play late? And, see, and people got on me about Joe Burrow. I said, hold on. All I know is that the Bengals had a lead until he gave, he fumbled the football and they got a scoop and score. Right. Well, well I, no, ain't no well and well. I'm just saying. All, a, a turnover in the first quarter is not doesn't have the same weight, Ocho, as a turnover in the fourth quarter with two minutes left in the game. Especially right. when the game – now, if you turn it over in the first quarter, you turn it over in the fourth quarter, and you up by 17 points with two minutes to go, no harm, no foul. Right. But when you in a one possession game, hell, it can't be nothing but a, the likelihood early in the game like that one possession game because hell, you just started. You just started the first quarter, so the likelihood of you being down twenty one nothing or twenty eight nothing in the first quarter is not very likely. So right. all turnovers aren't created equal, and so when you look at it, you go back and like, yeah, that third down. Because that gives me another three to four downs, Ocho, to get the ball closer to the end zone, in right. the end zone, or get it to in close to field goal range. And mm -hmm. so, and you look at, I'm like, damn, Gino, I can see if he was under the rest, Ocho, but he mm -hmm. shot that like, like ten feet over uh, the dude's head. Wait, also, listen, they somebody, somebody on offense. I don't know who the offensive coordinator is, even the head coach. If you can see, goddamn, Bosa is very destructive the entire, the entire yeah. goddamn game. Chip that chip motherfucker. If anything, slap the goddamn protection. Yeah, you he's got to. He's disrupting and forcing Gino that he's forcing Gino to throw faster than he wants to. Mm -hmm. You know, he got two seconds. At least give him three seconds. He get the ball in his hands, and it's two seconds before they can get before they can even get into the goddamn route. Bosa yeah. right there. Yeah. But see, the problem is you got Leonard Floyd on the other side. So you slide that one way. So now you got Leonard Floyd working one on one. Right. So you got to basically. So unless unless you want to chip your way out on both sides and mm -hmm. leave your guards inside on the D tackles, because you know their 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 pressure is outside pressure. Because Hargrove, if I'm not mistaken, I think Hargrove is hurt and he's on IR, so they don't really have anybody that can consistently collapse the pocket from inside right. and then force you into Bosa and Leonard Floyd. So right. basically, the pressure is coming from outside, and Geno must step up in the pocket. But mm -hmm. that's the thing why they went and got Leonard Floyd. And it just goes to show you, Ocho, sometimes a change of venue. People thought Leonard Floyd was a bust in Chicago. Right. Think about it now. He was a top right. 10 pick. Oh, yeah. Really didn't do a whole lot. But everywhere he's been since the Rams, he was big. He, Von Miller, and Aaron Donald. Mm -hmm. You see what he did in Buffalo, if I'm not